Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to build a three character conversation in PowerPoint. And uh, the end result here, you're going to have three people in a room in a background. And there's a few different angles that you can do. Um, and I will walk you through kind of what works and what doesn't work. And of course, I will give you the source files. Um, you can just uh, click the button below or check the show notes um, as well for a link. And uh, it'll include the PowerPoint files as well as all the character images that you see throughout this. So uh, if you think that's awesome, please uh, give me your feedback and just give me a quick like and YouTube. Um, and uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see here we're in PowerPoint and what I have is a background image and then each of these characters are their own character cutouts and you can play around with those files um, a little bit. Um, but uh, a couple of things that you're going to want to, to do is let's let's actually zoom out and take a look um, at what's going on here. Basically, I have a background and I've dropped three characters on top of it. Um, and you're going to want to um, make sure you get your proportions right and that the characters are reasonably looking at each other. And I actually just want to walk through um, a couple of these to show you what I think works and doesn't work as I played around with the various angles of some of the images that you'll have. So I think this works where you kind of have one character um, facing the side and the other back and the other to the side. This works as well where the person who's looking back is facing straight back. Um, this works too. Everybody's kind of facing the side, but I think that works well. Here's where you start getting into some, some problems. Um, when the character is looking directly at the camera, it kind of, um, it's like the character is speaking at you, not to the other characters. And I found that doesn't work very well. Um, it doesn't matter where the other two characters are looking, your eyes are drawn to the character who's looking at you and it just doesn't feel right. Like she's communicating with you. Um, well, you can fix that, you know, even if she's facing the camera, if you have her looking off camera, uh, that works pretty well. Um, so let's go ahead and actually get into uh, the file a little bit and I'll show you some tips and tricks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so you can see what's going on. And I like to work with the selection and visibility pane open. Um, it just kind of helps me figure out my layers and allows me to show and hide things. Um, move things up and down um, within the layers. Uh, and I can show you how to do that in a different lesson. Um, but I think a couple of things you're going to want to do is make sure that the character is kind of reasonably looking in the same direction. The other is, um, is the proportions. Um, you can really mess some things up here. If you have a character that that's bigger or smaller, it's going to look like they're, you know, closer or further away and that it, the eye really catches catches that and it just doesn't feel right. Now same thing if you if you have her smaller you'd think that she's further away. Um, so you'll notice with the characters that I was dealing with here I actually am running them off the screen and I think that works really well. Um, it makes it so there's no conflict between the feet and where somebody's standing. That's usually where you can see if there's any sort of error. So I know something like that looks pretty good. Um, so I think what you should do is open those source files, play around with the images and see how I've set it up, how I've aligned it and see what works for you. Um, that's really what this lesson um, is all about. One other thing to note, um, a lot of times people ask like, oh, well, the characters are always facing to the right or to the left. How do I, how do I deal with that? Well, within PowerPoint, it's just a flip horizontal. So, um, now, I have a shortcut on here that allows me to flip them horizontal um, on my quick access toolbar, but you can do that from the home as well. I think it's under arrange, rotate, flip horizontal, and they'll change the direction. Um, so yeah, anyways, I also, um, I do have a bonus download um, for you guys. So if you just uh, click on um, the link below here on the left. There's a whole bunch of free files that you'll have access to. And of course, would love it if you subscribe to the, the YouTube channel um, where you'll get updates when I have new lessons and I, you know, I constantly am giving out free, free files as well. And uh, feel free to also check out some of the featured videos um, that are related to, uh, to this lesson that you might also find useful. So uh, until next time, enjoy your files.